Okay, so first we want to create a new project. We'll call it JD. No, gesture demo. Let's call it. Okay, so now we have a blank project. First, we're going to add a new view to our storyboard, which is going to be the view that we can move around this has got a new view we want to create a new class for this view so we'll call this JD movable view controller and create that And since we're going to be looking at gestures, we want to make sure that this can ex uh, implement the UI gesture recognizer delegate. We'll get the delegate methods for that. Just copy these. And we'll paste them into our .m file. I always like to have a pragma mark so that I can lay things out neatly. Always helps you find it later on. Delete that. And we are only going to use the first two of these delegate methods, so comment out this should receive touch. Let's go back to the storyboard now. Okay, so we want to change the class of our um, view controller. Uh, we want to change the size so that we can have a freeform view controller. And that allows us to change the size of the view. We'll make it um, 200 by 200. And then we'll drop on some gestures. Start with the tap gesture, and we'll do three gestures today. We'll do pinch and rotate. Now we want to set our view controller um, as a delegate to each of them, and we've just implemented that. UI gesture recognizer delegate, so we should be good to go. And let's change the color of the view so we can see it when we put it onto the screen. Make it blue. And we want to load that and, and add it to our view controller. Our main sort of window view controller. So let's create a property of GD movable view controller. So we'll import the header for that first. And let's add the property. Synthesize this method and then that will get us on to loading up a version of the, the view. So we're going to load it directly from the UI storyboard that we've just created. Um, so we want to grab a handle to our main storyboard where our view controller lives. So we'll use storyboard with name, main storyboard. Set our movable view controller 
Och fastlagt mycket jag hände till dess. Och det står det på vårt instansiet. En instansiet view controller with identifier. And this identifier is a unique identifier which will um, let us un, uh, know which view controller it is we're going to load up. So we we'll call it CD movable view. Um, and in the storyboard, we need to set this identifier in the view controller's properties. So in the attribute expector, we can see there CD movable view. And we can go back, and now that's us loaded up an instance of a movable view controller. Now all we need to do is add the view controller's view uh, as a sub view to the, the screen. And that should be us loading up the movable item so we can get hold of it and drag it around. I'm going to uncheck resize view from nib so that it doesn't get made full screen again. Now let's implement the gesture recognizer delegate methods. So first we'll put in uh, a series of our statements so that we can recognize which gesture has been executed and return yes so that we can have multiple gestures. We're going to add in some variables so that we can to support our gestures and I'm just going to copy in some predefined movement actions. And that's about it for my first um, video demo. I hope this helps somebody um, and now you get to see that we can tap on the, the view and we'll say done, we can rotate it and we can scale it. And I'll be back soon with another demo, thanks.